Hello everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this pineapple style beanie. I was inspired by a doily that someone had given me a few years ago. And so I designed a beanie that had a similar style. Now it's not the open weave pineapple stitch you see in some of the doilies, but just enough to give it just this fun shape. And don't worry, it's not complicated. It's just a series of double crochets and spaces. And when we get going, you'll think, oh, that's much easier than I thought. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog, and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the pineapple stitch beanie, you're going to need some worsted weight number four yarn, and it takes about two to two and a half ounces, depending on how tightly that you stitch. This one is like a dusty blue tweed, and I believe this is Red Heart Super Saver that I had on hand. Now this one here is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, and I believe the color is maybe Parrot, I can't remember. Um, but it is one of the brand new Red Heart Super Saver stripes, and I love the way that it looks on this pattern. I'm going to use this bluish one just because I want to do it in a more solid so that you can see the stitches just a little bit better. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook, and our H hook is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. And the other thing you'll need is a needle for weaving in your ends and a pair of scissors. The first thing we need to do is, of course, make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. We'll snug that down. Make that little stay knot. All righty. <clears throat> We're going to put our hook through that chain five circle, pull up a loop, and chain three. Now this chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet 15 more double crochets in this chain five space. It's going to be tight, but we can get them all in there. We need 16, and our chain three counts is our first. So we're going to make 15 double crochets. Yarn over, go in the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. All righty, so let's squeeze in a total of 16 double crochets. All right, let's see how many I've got done. Here's my chain three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to squeeze in six more. And you just keep pushing them over and squeezing them in there. One, two, three, four. Five, and this makes six. Now, if you would like to do the magic circle at this point, you can do that as well. I personally just prefer doing the chain five and adding my 16 that way. On this particular portion, either way is acceptable. All right, we're going to join to the top of our chain three that counted as our first double crochet with a slip stitch, and we're going to chain four. Now, 
if you did uh, where you stitched over your string, just pull that string in and close that hole. And that's the way row one should look. After we joined, we chained four, not three. And the reason that we did that is because this chain four counts as one double crochet and a chain one. And we're going to place a double crochet chain one in each of those stitches around. So we'll go right into that next double crochet. We'll stitch a double crochet and chain one. And we'll do this in each stitch moving around. So we'll have 16 double crochet chain ones. And that's the way it will look. You'll see those chain one spaces between each of the double crochets. Alrighty, just a couple of more. Chain one, then we'll join to the top of our chain three with a slip stitch. So at the end of row two, we joined with the slip stitch, but we did not chain three. What we're going to do is we're going to go in that first chain one space, pull up a loop, and then chain three. And this chain three counts is our first double crochet. Now we're going to place two more double crochets in this same chain one space. and we're going to chain one. We'll skip the next chain one space and go to the next one and stitch three double crochets. Chain one. And this is the way that row three will work. Skip the next chain one space, three double crochets in the next, and chain one. Skip the next chain one space and three double crochets in the next and chain one. You'll continue this around and you'll end up with eight three double crochet chain one sets. So we'll skip the next one three double crochets in the next. Chain one. So I have eight groups of three double crochet, chain one. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three and chain three. Now what we're going to be doing on this row is each of these uh, three double crochet sets, we're going to be turning them into five double crochet sets. So our chain three here counts as a double crochet. We're gonna place one double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. We'll stitch one double crochet in the next double crochet, and then we'll stitch two in that third one. And what we did is we increased those three double crochets 
to 5. We're going to chain 2, and then we'll repeat that on each of those 7 left so that we'll have 8 sets of 5 double crochet, chain 2. All right, let's do another one. We're going to increase the first double crochet to 2 double crochets. Then we'll stitch one double crochet in that center, and then two double crochets in that third one. One and two. And then we'll chain two. All right, let's keep going. Two double crochets in the first double crochet, one double crochet in the next one, and then two double crochets in that third one. And chain two. And repeat. And then we'll continue this all the way around on each one of those three double crochets. We'll make them into five double crochets, chain two, all the way around. Row four is finished. I turned each one of my three double crochet chain one into five double crochet chain two by increasing at the, at the first double crochet and the last. And um, there's my chain two. We're gonna join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch, and then we're going to chain three. And we're going to repeat what we did for this row, but the difference is we're going to be going from five double crochets to seven. So our chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we'll go right in that first double crochet and stitch another double crochet. Then we'll stitch in each of the double crochets between And then now we have one, two, three, four, five. And then in our last double crochet, we're going to stitch two double crochets. So we're increasing from five double crochets to seven because we increased one at the beginning and one at the end. Chain two and repeat all the way around. So two double crochets in the first double crochet There we go. One double crochet in the next three. And then two double crochets in the last double crochet. And chain two. So we had three, then we went to five, and now we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll repeat that all the way around our hat. So I finished row six with my increase up to seven. Chain two, we're gonna join to the chain three with that slip stitch, and we're going to chain three. Now for row six, 
we're going to do exactly the same. We're not going to increase. We're going to put one double crochet in each of the seven double crochets and then chain two. So we won't have any increase on this row. So we'll just stitch one double crochet in each of the seven double crochets There we go, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain two, and then one double crochet in each of the seven double crochets of our groups. So we're not increasing at the beginning and end of each of the groups this time. We're just placing one double crochet in each double crochet, chain two, no increase. I know I already said that. I'm just reiterating it so that you understand there's no increase. Because <laughs> it might mess it up a little bit if you increased. All right, so that's what our repeat is. One, one double crochet in each of the seven double crochets with a chain two in between all the way around our hat. And what you'll notice on this row is that it's going to start to shape before it was nice and flat. Now we're going to start shaping a little as we go. But again, don't worry, it's not hard. There we go, a little string there. You'll see that it'll start moving around just a little bit. So for row six, we're stitching one double crochet in each of the seven double crochets of our groups with a chain two in between all the way around and then we'll join to the top of our chain three again so i stitched one double crochet in each of the seven with a chain two in between all the way around and now we're going to join to our chain three And for row seven, we're going to be doing a decrease, but we're not going to do the typical decrease stitch. What we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch right in that next double crochet and chain three. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the next only four stitches. And what we're doing is we're bringing it down from our seven back to our five. So we slip stitched to the second double crochet and did our chain three, which counts as one double crochet. And then we only stitched four more double crochets. So now we went from those seven to five. We're going to chain two and then we're going to place one double crochet in this chain two space. And then we'll chain two. All right, so now what we're going to do on the next one is we're going to skip the first double crochet and double crochet in the second double crochet. And then double crochet in the next four. And this is the way that the pattern will work the rest of the way around. This first one we needed a slip stitch over so that we were in that second double crochet. So what we'll do the rest of the way around is we'll chain two, we'll place a double crochet in the chain two space between our sets or our groups and chain two. We'll skip the first double crochet and stitch one double crochet in the next five double crochets. And then we'll repeat it. Chain two, double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, 
skip the first double crochet and stitch five double crochets and then we skip the last one. Chain two, one double crochet in the chain two space and chain two. And again, we skip the first double crochet and stitch one double crochet in the next and then one double crochet in the next four. So we have five double crochets. Whoops, got hung up on a string there. There we go. And chain two. And that's our repeat for this row. Chain two, double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, skip the first double crochet, stitch five double crochets, and repeat. Chain two, double crochet in the chain two space, and chain two. Skip the first double crochet and stitch one double crochet in the next five. And repeat. And this is the way your groups should look. You should have five double crochets chain two, one double crochet in that previous chain two space, and chain two. Now I join to the top of that chain three, and I'm going to again slip stitch in the next double crochet and chain three. And now we're going to decrease our group um, from five double crochets to three. So that's one, because our chain three counts as our first double crochet, and then we stitch two more so that we have three double crochets. We're going to chain two, and then we're gonna move over here to our double crochet and stitch three double crochets in that one double crochet. and then chain two. All right, now this is the way that this row will work. We're going to skip the first double crochet and stitch three double crochets so that we've decreased from five to three. And chain two. Now we're gonna to go to this next one double crochet and stitch three double crochets in it. One, two, and three, and chain two. And this is the way that this row will look. Chain two, skip the first double crochet, and one double crochet in the next three. Chain two and three double crochets in that one double crochet. And chain two. And then you'll repeat this all the way around this row. Skip the next and stitch one double crochet in the next three. So basically we're decreasing and increasing because we decreased our five down to three and then we're increasing our one up to three. chain two. And that's the way this row will work. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And again, we will repeat this all the way around this row and join to the top 
of that chain 3 that we started with. So row 8 should look like this, 3 double crochets in the 1, chain 2, 3 double crochets in the center of the 5, chain 2, and repeat all the way around. Now, for row 9, we're again going to slip stitch in the next double crochet, but only this time we're going to chain 5. This 5 double crochet counts as 1 double crochet, chain 2. Now we're going to move over here and stitch 2 double crochets in the first double crochet of those 3. We'll double crochet 1 in the center and then 2 on the end of those 3. So we increased this one from 1 to 3 to 5, and we decreased this one down to 1. So this is how this row should work. Now this one we increased down to 1 because our chain 5 counts as a double crochet, chain 2, and then we increased from 1 double crochet to 3 to 5, on this section, and you can see how that sort of looks like that pineapple or maybe a flower petal. All right, we're going to chain two. We're going to go right to the center of those next three double crochets and stitch a double crochet. Chain two, then we'll come right to this next group of three and we'll stitch two double crochets in the first one, one double crochet in that center of the three, and then two in that last of the three. And this is how the repeat for this row will work. We'll have those five double crochets, chain two, one double crochet in the center of those three, chain two and repeat. Two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, because we're increasing from five, or I mean we're increasing from three to five, chain two, and then one double crochet in the center of those next three and chain two. And so you can see that we've finished this shape and we're starting another one. Alrighty, so we're going to repeat this all the way around this row and again join to the chain three. Now remember we started with a chain five so you want to just join to the top of the chain three. And that's the way this row will work. So I've completed row nine. We've got the single double crochet, chain two, then we have the five double crochets because we increased, chain two, one double crochet, chain two, then five. And when we get around to the end, um, we have our chain two and we want to make sure that we join to the top of the chain three not the chain five, because remember, this double, uh, this chain three and this chain two is a double crochet and a chain two. All right, so we're going to do a chain five again. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase our five double crochets to seven, and we'll still only have one double crochet and the single double crochet. So we chained five, which counts as a, a double crochet, chain two, 
we'll go right in our first double crochet and stitch two double crochets. Then we'll stitch one double crochet in the next three. And then we'll stitch two double crochets in the last one there of our first group. And what we've done is we've increased from five double crochets in this group to seven. We'll chain two and we'll just stitch one double crochet in the double crochet. We're not going to increase or decrease there. And this is the way the repeat for row 10 is done. We chain two, we go to our next double crochet and stitch two double crochets. one double crochet in the next three and then two double crochets in the last double crochet of this group. Chain two and one double crochet in the next and chain two and that's our repeat all the way around for row 10. This is how your row 10 should look. You have seven in your group. This one's down to one. We still have just one with the chain two between all the way around our last chain two. And then we're going to join to the chain three because it counts as a double crochet chain two. And now we're going to chain three. Now, the hard part is over. This row, we're going to do all double crochets, but we're not going to do any stitches in any of the chain two spaces. So this chain three count is our first double crochet. We're going to skip the chain two space and just stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets in this next group. And by skipping those chain two spaces, we're bringing our hat in even a little bit more uh, so that it shapes nicely. All right, so now we're to the next chain two, one double crochet, chain two. We're gonna skip those chain two and we'll go right to that double crochet and stitch a double crochet. Then we'll skip this chain two and go right to the next double crochet and stitch a double crochet. And this is the way that this row will work. So basically we're stitching double crochets only in the double crochets and skipping all the chain two spaces. Skip the chain two space and stitch a double crochet. In that double crochet, skip the chain two space and go right to the next double crochet. There we go. And this is the way that this row will work. We'll only double crochet in the double crochets and skip all the chain two spaces. Once you get around and you've stitched one double crochet in each double crochet, 
skipping all the chain two spaces. We're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch. We'll chain three and then again we'll stitch one double crochet and each double crochet around. So like I said, the hard part's over. And I think you'll agree it wasn't really too hard. It's just a matter of double crochets and spaces to make the shapes. Alrighty, so I'm just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. So this is how your hat should look at this point. We did those two rows of double crochet. I joined to the top of the chain three, but I'm only going to chain two. Now the next four rows, we're going to be stitching half double crochets. And this is to give our hat a nice solid band. To stitch a half double crochet, you yarn over, go in the stitch, pull up a loop, and then you loop over your hook and pull that loop through all three of those loops. So what we're doing is we're placing one half double crochet in each of the double crochets around and we're working on the hat band. Now, if you have a head that is a little bit longer, you can add more rows of double crochet if you want your hat to be a little bit longer or you'd like it to be a slouchy so that it does hang back farther in the back, you can add a couple more rows of the double crochet. Now remember, this hat fits a head that's about 19 to 20 inches, and that's a youth to adult size. If you want to make it just a little bit smaller, you can always go down a hook size or two or use a thinner yarn. And if you want it to be just a little bit bigger, you can always go up a hook size or two to make it a little bit bigger. But keep in mind that yarn is very stretchy and you don't want to make it too big so it doesn't stay on their head. All right, so I'm just going to continue placing one half double crochet in each of the double crochets around. I completed the row of half double crochets and now what we're going to do, join to the top of that chain two and chain two. And for the next three rows, we're going to continue stitching one half double crochet in each half double crochet around. And this will give us a total of four rows of half double crochets to give us a nice thick band. And when we finish those rows, we'll be done. So for the next three rows, we're stitching one half double crochet in each half double crochet around, joined to the chain two and chain two. So that we have a total of four rows of half double crochets. I stitched those four rows of half double crochet and again I joined. I'm going to cut my yarn 
And I'm going to pull that loop to the back and tie off. And of course, I'll weave that end in. But this is the way that your hat should look. Isn't that pretty? And I really love it with this tweed blue. But of course, my favorite is this one that's the bright stripes. And that's how easy it is to make my pineapple stitch beanie.